Socks! Today we are creating the very cute cat from the movie Lightyear. I didn't expect him to be as adorable as he is. I'm excited to get this cake finished, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Kiki Palmer and today we are making socks from Lightyear. I just saw it. I fell in love with socks. I thought this needs to be a cake, so that's why we're making them today. And when I was watching the movie, I thought socks was voiced by the Asian guy in Superstore. And it turns out I was wrong. He's voiced by another Asian guy who looks like the guy from Superstore. <laughs> I love the character, I thought he was so well realized. I liked all the technology he had, the blowing dart that comes out of his mouth, that little like USB port that comes out of his tail. That and like his little personality is just so cute. I'm excited to make this cake, let's get started. So I've got my cake board, I've got PVC pipe couplers and some PVC pipe to create my structure. I'm also going to be using some styrofoam to hold up the bottom of Sox's head. I really piled this buttercream on thick. <laughs> Too thick, I think. Never just scrape some of this off. Too much, look at that. So I've got two six inch square cakes to create Sox's body. And the hole isn't directly in the center because I want his body to be a little back and his head a little pushed forward. I've got my image of Sox and I'm just gonna make sure that he is the right height. Now I need a very small layer of cake to create his neck. There we go. I added my piece of styrofoam with a little bit of buttercream. And then my last two layers of cake, which I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be using that much. <laughs> now my final layer of cake. There we go. Look at that, look at good, look at so good. My cakes are stacked. I've got my image of socks and I sized the image to be the size of the cake before icing. I've got another image size to be like probably like a fourth to half an inch thicker so I can account for all the buttercream I'm gonna be adding to my cake. Now it's time to carve. Now I dyed my cakes purple and green because of Buzz Lightyear and when I was carving my cakes I was carving a very general shape, a teardrop shape for his body and a circle for his head. All of the detail work is going to come from the buttercream so I just kept this simple. I wish I'd realized this sooner but having two sizes of my image helps so much. The proportions of the character are more correct. I wish I had been doing this even when I was creating cakes with fondant. With fondant I was working with one image and by the time I added my layer of fondant the shape of the character was a little distorted. So I should have been doing this a long time ago. Oh I'm an idiot. <laughs> now the next thing I'm going to do is add my crumb coat which just a very thin layer of buttercream that ensures that my final layer of buttercream which I'm going to be working with a lot does not have any cake crumbs on it. Now, after I add my crumb coat, I'm gonna put it in the fridge to set up completely, and then on goes my final layer of buttercream. One thing I've learned about working with buttercream is that it's better to apply more than to have to apply more later. So I put on a very thick layer so that I don't have to fill in that many gaps later on. Now I'm just going to talk over this guy because what he's telling you is wrong. <laughs> now when I was carving Sox's shape, I started with two silhouettes. One of Sox from the front and one of Sox from the sides, minus his ears. I took my offset spatula and just traced the sides of my image so that I could create the perfect shape. Then I turned my cake to the side and repeated that process with his side silhouette. Then it was time to start creating all of his features. Now at this point I searched for socks in Google Images and I was just looking at a ton of images of socks from different angles so that I could understand the shapes that I was creating. But I was also referring back to the two images that I sized specifically for this cake just to make sure that the things I was carving would line up with the silhouettes that I had created before. And when I was more comfortable with my shapes, I cut out a little bit of cake and buttercream to create some eye holes. Then it was time to use my best friend, my makeup appliers. I just used silicone makeup appliers to smoothen out my surface. I think these are made for like facial masks. I saw some lady on TikTok use a honey and coffee facial mask. It was so weird, but I guess it worked because she's very beautiful. Now I can keep going with this and make sure that it's completely smooth, but I like the buttercream texture that's left behind. I kind of want it to look like a cake. Next thing I'm going to do, where is it? Is take a cookie cutter and just cut out the buttercream here so I can add some fondant to create his eyes. 
And that's gonna lead into all of my fondant work. Now to make my life easy, I use fondant to create Socks' eyes and his little mouth. I primarily wanted to use one color, but I did create Socks' chest with white buttercream. I was just very careful about not mixing these colors. But after that, I went straight back to fondant. I was thinking about just creating his legs with buttercream as well, but I was like, that's a lot of buttercream to be piping. And sculpting? Mm -mm, not today. So I created his front legs with fondant as well as his back legs. Then I used fondant to create his collar and his name tag. Added two fondant ears. And then his fondant tail. And voila, my socks cake was complete. Thing. You look so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. You were my favorite. You're my favorite thing in the movie. I really love the mix of buttercream and fondant. I'm really, I'm, I'm impressed that I was able to match my fondant color to the buttercream. Sometimes when I try to color my fondant the same as my buttercream, you can totally tell that I messed up somewhere. But this looks perfect. Now usually when I'm making characters, I try to hide all of the seams, but because Socks is a toy, I enhanced all of those seams. I made sure you could see the separation from his front, his mid, and his back. I also divided up his legs so you could see that as well. It just makes him look more toy-like. Now I did mess up a little bit. His eyes should be like a centimeter closer. Also, he's not as tall as the Socks in the movie. I was going to try and fix all of that, and then I was like, mm-mm. It's fine, just leave it alone. <laughs> I can't believe how much I like this. It's so good, wow. Now, another thing that I messed up on was I didn't make enough buttercream. And because of that, whatever buttercream I scraped off when I was sculpting, I put into a bowl and reused it to fill in other parts. What I didn't realize was that when I was carving, I actually carved off some of my crumb coat. So when I was smoothing my cake out and applying the used buttercream, I ended up putting like some small cake crumbs on the outside you know there's one here right there you can just you can just see like specks of purple and green throughout his fur <laughs> oh so sad but that's okay I don't really care that much now I'm curious what did you think about Lightyear I can't believe how politicized it's become I loved all of like the queer elements that lesbian couple they were so cute but I really wish that we gotta see Star Command. <laughs> if you watch the 2D animated Buzz Lightyear television show, then you know what I mean. Those characters in that world that they created in that TV show was so vibrant. And yet here, we're stuck on a dirty brown planet and I was just not feeling it. <laughs> but I did love the characters that they introduced and hopefully if we get a sequel, we'll get to see the Star Command headquarters. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon.